is in here. Cool. Spray us. What did you do to Peggy? Hello, Mr. Neeran here. Welcome, welcome to Blood Roar 4, a game for the PlayStation 2. Let's go to options, game settings, difficulty 8, attack level 4, 5, 6, 7, increase number for more strengths. For attack strengths, now we can have it on 4. Runtime infinite. Okay, good. Back. Audio settings. Hmm, it's probably a bit high. I don't care. We'll keep it as this. Okay, so this game is a fighting game for the PlayStation 2. There are four games set in the Blood Rose series. I don't know if all four are for the PlayStation 2, but I know that at least one or two more are for the PlayStation 2. This is the latest. Okay, so actually we might need to lower the sound. Um, let's see, big M volume. Ah, we could do that good. We'll have it on 50. And now move back. So in this game you can either play a story mode, you can play as the characters and, and there will be cinematics in the story, like we saw in the intro video there, they will speak and such, the arcade mode, or we can play V versus mode against a friend, we can train in the training mode, we can have time attack mode, which is a um, other, uh, I believe it's uh, some uh, time uh, mode where, uh, where it's... Uh, I don't exactly know what you do there, but it's uh, something to do with time. Survival, that's the mode where you play as a character and fight battles until you lose. You will not regain any health per battle and you fight until you are defeated and see how long, how, how much you can do. Pretty much you gain points for every victory and you fight until you have lost, uh, I mean you, you have a set number of health and whenever it's depleted you lose you won't restore your health uh, when a new battle starts and uh, it's a mode where you try to survive as long as possible uh, combat is com versus com I like that it has that mode that's why we are playing this now so we will watch the AI fight the AI it's pretty cool so I'm using the PCSX2 emulator I'm also using a set configuration that uh, was pre-made for this game so the graphics are the best they could be for this emulator using this game so the cinematics I believe are a little bit fast due to the configuration I tried not using the configuration and unfortunately the game became a little bit uh, less uh, flawless it had some uh, stuttering and uh, the graphics were worse. So I, I prefer using the, <coughs> the pre-made configuration for the launch box, which I'm using to start the game. Okay, so we'll watch the characters fight. All the characters until one is the champion. It's a pretty cool fighting game. It's actually fun against uh, a friend to play this game or against the computer. It's also bloody. Okay, we will uh, we'll just preview the game. We will take Nagi here. So each character can transform into a, a, a different form in the battle. They start in a humanoid form and then they can transform either into a demon demonic form or a creature or animal. Uh, so Nagi here, the main character, can, uh, can transform into the 
Urius form, which is like a demon form of herself. We have Yuga, the wolf, he can take on a werewolf form. We have uh, Bakuryu. Bakuryu, he can uh, transform into the mole. And we have uh, Garo, he can transform into the lion. Shrenlong, the tiger. We have Stan, the insect. It's pretty self explanatory what they can transform into. We have uh, Uruko, the cat. Alice, the rabbit. Ixion, the unborn. Reggie, the crow. Yen, the bat. We have uh, Koryu, the iron wolf. The iron mole, actually. And Uranus, the chimera. Ryoho the dragon, Shrina the leopard, Long the tiger, Bushushima the chameleon, and Ryoho and Mana. Okay, let's start with Nagi. The spirits. Uh, by the way, we have uh, different looks Nagi. for them too. The spirits. Ah, I didn't want them to fight the same character. Quit select, we have to go back. Ah, too bad. I'm a little bit unused to the buttons in this game, it's been a while. So, Nagi. Uh, change costume on uh, triangles. We have three different costumes. We'll use the owner one, the one player costume. And then we will let her fight. She can play uh, again. She can fight uh, Exile and the Unborn. We'll use the first stage. Uh, time is infinite. Infinity. Round two. Let's start. So the intros are a little bit too fast using the configuration. As we can see, the game is pretty bloody, and it's it's a good fighting game. It's not based on any prior. Triangle or such, it's not uh, like Dragon Ball based on any anime or something, it's just a fighting game. A random fighting game for the PlayStation 2. With lots of blood during the fights. Using 3D models and moving. <laughs> moving background stage, yes. Good for its time. Sound of the effects is either a little bit too high. Yeah, there are some cool finishing moves here. Okay, so she won. We'll play two rounds per character. Let's try again. I might go back and lower the sound there. Really cool uh, special moves in the game. <coughs> also, I think the models are good for a PlayStation 2 game in this resolution at least. I believe the game is from 23 or 2003. 
same year as Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, I believe. Ah, we had two rounds. I didn't pay attention. That's fine. Right, so we won the second round. is out. I like the models and the fighting of this game. I don't like that it returns to the menu like this. I think like in the Dragon Ball games they should pause it when someone has won so one can take a good look at the model. Instead it returns to the character or character selection screen. Okay, we will choose someone else. You go the wolf. And uh, actually we will, before we do that, we will uh, Go back to options. We'll go to game settings, audio. I want to go to audio settings and uh, change the SFX volume as well to 50. We don't want it to be too high. It's very annoying, I can't hear myself when speaking. It will be difficult for the one watching the video to hear me as well. Okay, I don't like when I have to scream. Okay, so um, this game is a good fighting game. Highly recommended for the PlayStation 2. And with the PCSX2 emulator it has pretty good graphics. And uh, especially when using the pre-made configuration file for the launch box tool. And, uh, but unfortunately it speeded up the intros. So they are a little bit too fast as you can see. And, and the extros as well when you have one. Let's pick you got a wolf and against him we will choose choose um, Alice the rabbit. We can to the, uh, take the second stage now. We need to go down to the stage there. We will pick it and then click start. So the backgrounds are not part of this playable area, but they have movable backgrounds. It's pretty nice. Similar to Budokai 2. I believe both games are from 23. So this uh, Alice uh, character can transform into a rabbit, which is reminiscent of Alice in the Alice in Wonderland or whatever. Here she falls down a rabbit hole, probably inspired by that. Hugo transforms into a wolf, more like a werewolf. So uh, all of them transform into monsters pretty much. It's supposed to be like a dark fighting game with blood and monsters. I never played this as a kid or teenager. I played it since 29 I believe. I got it in 29 or later. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
As it had a CPU with CPU, I felt like previewing it on the channel. As it's one of the forgotten gems of the PlayStation 2 era. And because my uh, computer is able to handle uh, pretty good graphics, I thought. Uh, and because I spent some time uh, getting the PCSX2 to actually work well, uh, it took a lot of time to do. I decided to preview it in top quality. I, I'm sure others have played the game on YouTube, but I'm not sure they have these good graphics. There might be one or two videos in this quality, but yeah, I, I wanted to just preview it in top quality. Okay, let's pick uh, Bakuru, the mole, versus um, Rico, the cat. I'll change the stage. game almost looks like a PlayStation 3 game when they use the PCS 6 2 emulator, which is nice. The problem with the PlayStation 2 was that the resolution was so bad. I believe it had 620 resolution, which is bad. Urko the cat won the first round. Here they are fighting in water. Reminded me of Mortal Kombat with the blood and such. <coughs> but the damage on the characters isn't visible. There are a lot of blood but no damage on the models. The blood doesn't stick, it doesn't uh, remain. Here we go on again. Alright. Alright. Let's pick Gado the lion. <coughs> Versus uh, <coughs> Rannis the chimera. New stage. <coughs> she is floating in the air. Uh, so that's the Chimera, she's pretty strong, one of the stronger monsters, I believe all the characters are not equal, some of them are way better than the others, I believe uh, the dragon for example is a boss character, still playable. Certain monster transformations are better than others. <coughs> I thought uh, <coughs> that any fighting game with the CPU with CPU mode or watch mode uh, was better than any fighting game that didn't have it in the past. I like when I can watch fights, at least as a kid I did, and, and as an adult it would still be in uh, interesting to just watch some fights without having to play uh, myself. But of course with the modern games you have YouTube and and online battles and such where you can watch other players play. In, in the past when you had local play uh, in multiplayer you couldn't really watch others and uh, that's why the watch mode was good where you could watch the CPU fight itself. So Runners won the f that round. She won 
Uh, one of the rounds, okay. Final round. <coughs> Horse in the background, which is pretty neat. And even trucks. Alright, the run is won. Okay, Shenlong the tiger will fight the other tiger. There were two tigers. We have Long the tiger as well. All right, let's start the fight. Ah, so one is a white tiger and the other is a yellow tiger. They are similar to each other. Okay, Shenlong lost the first round. Shenlong, that's the same name as uh, the dragon of Dragon Ball, by the way. Uh, Shenlong. Oh, some kind of special attack there. Yeah. yeah, some pretty cool uh, special moves in this game, whenever they manage to pull them off. Special as their monster forms. Fenlong lost again, so long won that one. Alright. A stunned insect. And uh, Reggie the Crow will fight him. A new stage. Delphins in the background. Nice. Transforms into a flying crow. Cool monster. And then we have the insect monster form of the other guy. Stun. Ready won the first round. He's pretty strong with his attacks there. Seems to be difficult to defend against the crowd. Stun seems to be more of a power character. He has strong attacks. But he's slow. Which is bad against the crowd, I think. I'm using a save game to have all the characters from the start, otherwise I don't believe I would have all of them in the beginning. You have to unlock them in the arcade mode. But by using uh, pre-made save files you can get around that. That's what I liked about the older games for the PlayStation 2. You could just download the save files. But uh, with the emulator sometimes it's bugged, so... Uh, 
for some reason sometimes uh, you can't uh, get all the characters because it has made a save already and you didn't have them and for some reason it can't uh, overwrite the uh, save file it happened in, in Dragon Ball uh, 3, uh, no 2 I believe I had to delete all the save files and uh, get one in from scratch to fix it I have the same problem in a different game that I want to preview next named Rumble Roses, where I don't have all the characters because it didn't work. The weird thing is that I have them in, in the story mode, but I don't have all of them in the in the mode where you can watch the AI fight. It's a really cool game and the graphics are really good with the PC6-2 emulator using the pre-made configuration file. Okay, so we have watched um, most of these characters. Yes, we are on Ryoho and Mana now, and they will fight Kuryu the Iron Mole, I think. So it's like two characters, it's one character. Well, Shane Stage. Yeah, it was public this time. Yeah, he has like a little female partner, this guy. Ryo and Mana versus Koryo. Koryo. Iron Mole is like an armored mole. While the other guy has a female partner that can transform into uh, a fox, I believe. Reminds me a bit of Kiba from the Naruto franchise, who also has a dog partner. Okay, Koryo won the first round. It's pretty cool that the background moves like that, or at least the stage is moving in a way that it looks uh, pretty cool for a PlayStation 2 game. Ryoho and Mana won the second round and now it's the final. Sima, Ryusu, uh, Shima, actually, Bushu Shima, is a million. We'll use him now, and he will uh, face off against. So we can pick the Shrine of the Leopard, Ryoho the Dragon. Gen the bat. I think we'll do. We'll pick Gen the bat here. And 
change the stage Dragon guy is like a boss. She transforms it into a beer bat. He into a giant lizard, of course. Chameleon. Oh, she bit him like a vampire. The lizard picked her up and slammed her with her it is tongue. Yeah, they have some cool looking finish moves and super moves here. Lizard won unexpectedly. All right. Okay, she not the leopard, a leopard. She not a leopard. And then we have um, um, Ryoho the dragon. I believe it's the only one left. He'll pick him. Stage nine. It's probably his stage too, with a dragon in the background. Sheena's... Might be a female, I'm not sure. Probably. Thought it was a guy first. Look at the dragon, the most badass monster. The strongest too. Fire. It's the boss of the story mode. I finished the story mode in the past, if, um, like back in 2009, 2010, or 2011. Uh, and he's the final opponent. And it's pretty cool that you can play as him, and he's not nerfed, so he's, he is as strong here as in the story mode. In other games like Mortal Kombat 9, you can play as the bosses, but they are nerfed when you play as them. They are not as strong as in the story mode. Okay, so as you saw, the dragon is pretty strong. We can let Trina fight someone else just for fun. Uh, someone that isn't as strong, just to see her moves. It's a little bit difficult against that guy. Nice. They grab each other and 
he'll bite each other and such scratch each other with blood and such that's nice the only other bloody fighting game I know of is Mortal Kombat maybe Dino Crisis or whatever no um, there were fighting game with dinosaurs that were blood in the past I don't know, remember the name but that was for the PlayStation 1 and the Super Nintendo I believe well, I like the overall aesthetic of this game I liked how it looked, especially with uh, the PCSX2 emulator and this uh, pre-made prefix or configuration. Look at that. It's a good fighting game. If you have the PS PS2 or, or the PS2 emulator, you should probably try it if you like fighting games. I recommend it. Blood Roar 4. There's no reason to play the other Blood Row games. This is the latest one, so it's the best one. It has the most characters, the most stages, and the best uh, fighting mechanics. Okay. So, uh, Rivan, Rivon, you got the wolf. Alistair Rabbit, I don't remember which one won there. I know that Uruk or the cat won. Let's have these two fight each other. Stage 10. A new stage. There are more stages than characters in this game. Or at least more than, than the number of characters. Uh, uh. I love how uh, Nag looks, but that's probably intended, they made her look sexy so people would buy the game. <laughs> she has cool attacks too, she impales people with her giant uh, sword, demonic sword hand. like their version of fatalities. I didn't plan on playing this on my YouTube channel, but when I saw that it had a computer versus computer mode, I, I felt like doing it. Uh, I had forgotten it had a CPU versus CPU mode. But yeah, it's pretty cool. The graphics are not bad for PlayStation 2. Look at that. Cat won this time. Final round, huh? Me. So 
So the monster forms are a mix between like animals and monsters and between cute monsters and uh, scary monsters. I'm not a big fan of the cute ones like the cat. I like the, the scary ones. Alright. The cat character is still pretty good in the game. Nice. Nagi won. Alright. Of course, Nagi is my favorite character. <laughs> Yeah, the main character in the game, okay too. But uh, she looks the best, of course. Okay, so um, the wolf did he win? Um, crow, lead the crow, certainly won. Um, let's see here. Unborn, I don't remember. Shenlong Lost, Get out of the Line. Oh. You see, my dear, Chameleon, he won too. Let's pick those two. That guy, uh, uh, Reggie, I believe, the one with the orange pants, he reminds me of a guy from Rooney Kenshin. Uh, the final bad guy of the manga, he has similar pants and a similar color of his hair too. He looks a lot like him, actually. Whatever he was named. This time the chameleon is purple instead of green. Because the stage is more purple, I see. They change his color based on the stage, that's pretty cool. isn't very big. They have a very small area where they can fight with invisible walls surrounding it. That's typical for the old fighting games that they couldn't uh, fight outside of a small area. So of course in fighting games the models are pretty good looking and, and sometimes even the stages but but there are not much to them. They, they have uh, two playable characters and uh, that they can move and such and then the rest is just background. Usually the models in the background are way worse if there are models there. So uh, fighting games unlike modern games um, they might have good models but unlike the modern games they do not have an entire city full of uh, moving objects instead it's like two models and a stage background moving so that's why these games could get away with pretty good graphics because they didn't have a lot uh, uh, in stages at once uh, and, and a role playing game for example where you have an entire world with many characters etc they couldn't have as good graphics on earlier consoles because it would be too demanding on the console but the fighting games they had 
they only had two models and a stage, so that's why they got away with pretty good graphics, even on the older consoles. Okay, so uh, Iron Mole, I believe he also won. The rabbit, I think she won. We'll try her again. Random stage, we're back on stage one, that's fine. shoot like rockets. Iron Mole is like a cyborg. Android. Badass attack there from the Iron Mole. The graphics, I think, look a lot like the FMV models of Final Fantasy VII in style. Looks like a model from one of those old PlayStation 1 uh, FMVs. I like that style. It's just a shame that they were uh, limited to the, the cinematics and not the actual game. But, uh, that's why I like how this look in, in HD. Oh, the Iron Mole won. Okay. Unborn. I don't remember if he is around, but let's see uh, let him fight lion let's skip the intro yeah I believe that guy the X -Sion. Born. He's a badass final attack where he impales enemies. I don't remember if the lion won his fight. X Iron is pretty good. I don't remember which one of the tigers won, the white or the yellow. Alright, the Xion won easily. He is pretty strong. Okay. Check the tigers. Ah, now I remember. Long one, and he uh, later faced, uh, I believe, the chameleon. No, he didn't face the chameleon. Let's see here. Wolf, I don't remember. Well, I 
guess if I had uh, made it easier for myself, I would have remembered who won and such. Yeah, usually I would let the one at the far corner here fight against the one at the far corner here and then continue like that. It would be easy to remember who won. Now I have already forgotten some of the victors. Okay, let's just um, take Chimera, the runners to Chimera, she won. She can fight against uh, Ryoho, the dragon. Okay. Both of them won their fights, I remember. They are both bosses. Oh, that guy he can impale his enemies, I believe, with his back. Yeah. Oh, the dragon is very strong, too. Shit, I believe she won. Even to Ryoho. Ryoho is the final boss. He seems to be losing. Without even transforming in the second round. He has the most badass form, for sure. Oh, Uranus won. Alright. I didn't expect that, I thought uh, he would win. Okay. The wolf guy will get a second chance in case uh, he had won. I don't remember. Unborn rabbit. Cat of the lion, mole. I think the mole actually lost, but I, I'm not sure. Let's try those two. Some good attacks too. And a wolf. We are wolf. Oh. You go one easily the first round. Werewolf is pretty good. She won the fight. It reminds me of Squall from Final Fantasy VIII in how he looks. Okay. Mole is out. Okay. I don't know if the Chameleon won the last fight. He fought for the crowd. I guess it was Chameleon. Let's pick him again. And uh, let him face the Iron Mole.
Both of these characters are pretty strong. It'll be interesting to see who will win this one. Oh, he threw him out of the stage and down to a different area. So this game also has uh, such uh, features where you can move from one area to another. Pretty cool. Probably new for the PlayStation 2 games. Nice, the tongue attack again. The chameleon. Oh, that on mode one. Chameleon looks so weird in his monster form, like abnormally big, his face and such. This is cool. The other Iron Man looks so small in comparison. Might still win the fight. Iron Man, I believe, is stronger. Alright, Chameleon lost. Long the Tiger. He, he won his first fight. We'll let, let him fight again against uh, Uranus de Chimera, I think. A new stage, the Delphin stage again. Him. Nice. Special attack there. Seems to have special attacks in both forms, both as a monster and as a human. Oh. Long won the first round. Uranus won the second round. I'm uh, rooting for Uranus. I think Free is the stronger one. I would be surprised if Free lost. Free won against the dragon after all. Might win long. Okay. Oh shit, 
Long walk. I look forward to our next fight. All right, run was lost. Rabbit lost. The cat, I think, lost. Sick lost. Shenlong lost. Gado the lion. He fought against. Uh, yeah, I believe he has lost. We do have the wolf. I will fight against uh, Nagi the Spurious. different stage. This one again, the moving stage, the coolest stage in the game. They have different color now. Different color scheme. Let's play it too. Did a special attack again. She just lost the first round. I don't like her second look as much as the first. She is, is a red hair when transformed and a brown hair when she isn't transformed. Okay. She won the second round. That wolf has a good special attack that he likes spamming. <coughs> yeah. That's why he might win this fight. She did transform, not good. But Bams, attack. Wolf on. Okay. Try freeze player one, see what happens. Here has a Slightly lighter color of her hair. I like this look better. Okay. Same look as the uh, same hair when transformed. Nice. on the first round. <coughs> Seems to be very random who wins when the AI is in control. Sometimes the AI wins with one character and sometimes he wins. Sometimes the, uh, sometimes the AI wins with one and sometimes with the other. It impales uh, characters with our attack. Which is nice to see. Ah, uh, he did that special move again. Go on the round. She will 
vi. Det är så här sänk. Nej, Oh shit, det är special attack där. Very bitter. She might lose. Ah, she lost. Again. Alright. So, the wolf. Um, let's see here. Red Jid Crow is out. Jenny the Bat is out. Koryu the Iron Mole, I believe he is still in. Uranus the Chimera. I believe um, she won against the Chameleon. Let's place these two against each other. wrong when I think about it I think that she lost both rounds surprisingly they have the iron mole she won against the dragon and probably lost against chameleon I believe she won one round uh, so we'll uh, pl play these two against each uh, no, I might be wrong. Wolf, mole, lion. So I'm not sure if the chameleon lost to this guy or not. <sighs> Let's pick the wolf. Iron Mole won the second round, final round. No, Iron Mole won. Okay. 
mycket. So I was wrong that the cinematics were too fast. They are pretty. Uh, they are probably they should be. Okay, I believe Uran has lost the two rounds against Chameleon. Let's play the Chameleon against uh, Wolf. Might be wrong that he didn't lose. I don't remember exactly. I fucked up uh, the, the attention. I didn't pay enough attention on who won. Okay, but I believe the the werewolf might win this. I might be wrong. Pretty cool stage. Feels like a final stage of sort. Werewolf one or the wolf? Okay. So Blood Road four. Game from 2003 by Hudson Soft. Okay. I think we will play the arcade mode, the story mode. But not now, we'll do that later. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.